-hmm. Just, they're in the process of doing it right now. Well, there's a lot of business in Oak Park Heights. And now these businesses, their taxes are going up to pay for this Taj Mahal City Hall. And people are moving out of this business park and doing business out of their homes, out of their garages, because they can't afford to pay the rent because of the taxes. It's just no more taxes. And, y and you talk about um, the how, how the small businesses are struggling. Uh, the big businesses oh, are just absolutely. saying, you know what, we're mm -hmm. out of here. Absolutely. Look at, uh, look at the Northwest Airlines merger. Absolutely. Where did they go? They left a little bit here. Of course mm -hmm. they did. Uh -huh. But you know what, the bulk of their operations is down in Georgia because they can, right. they can save billions of dollars by right. moving to a low-tax state. Right. I just talked to somebody that works as an engineer at 3M last night, and he said there's no expansion going there. If someone retires or they just don't replace those people. So there's no expansion, there's no uh, manufacturing, nothing going on from mm -hmm. 3M. My father worked for 3M down at the Chemolite plant and raised our eight kids. And we don't have those kinds of jobs anymore because we are so unfriendly. One other, I want to just mention this, I talked to a small business owner in Lake Elmo. Probably a lot of people are familiar with Lake Elmo Inn and he talked about how there's a city council member in St. Paul who is trying to pass a law in the city of St. Paul that restaurant owners and chefs would be held liable if someone has an allergic reaction to the food they eat. Yeah, I'm happy to say that I think what passed was they have to do a poster. They have to hang a poster up there, but they're not done yet. This no. is that little no. incremental, let's turn up the heat just a little bit at a time so right. nobody notices. Right. And, and what the really scary part is, you see things from, for example, a social host law or a, um, holding people responsible for you know whatever, the food they cooked or, or whatever. Um, it starts in one city and mm -hmm. then it spreads to the next city. Mm -hmm. Smoking ban would be Smoking a perfect ban. example of Absolutely. it. And, and then all of a sudden it covers the whole state because they have to fare Fairly hurt all of all of the right. entire state instead of just a portion. Right, right. So it, those are yeah. things that really concern me, and those are the reasons I'm running. And you know, we just have to have common sense. We have to have people who understand that this is not the way to run a society. That for people to be successful, I've, I've been thinking, what? When did it happen that being successful? Is she telling me to stop? No. Nope. Being successful um, is a bad thing. You know, we raise our children to study hard in school and to work hard and to go to college and to do these things so that they can be successful. And all of a sudden, it's like a bad thing to be successful. You're rich. We're going to punish you. Yeah. You know, we, you, we don't. Uh, when did that happen in America? This is America. It's it happened for a long, uh, a very long time, and I think people haven't been paying attention, but I'm really happy now because people are paying attention. They and are. that's why 2010 is going to be such an exciting time mm -hmm. because we're going to see a lot of the people say, throw the bums out. We don't have time for them anymore. We want mm -hmm. something different, and we want somebody who's going to represent us. Talking, uh, I know we're focusing on the state of Minnesota, but let's just talk about the national health care legislation. Sure. Sixty-some percent of the people oppose it. Absolutely. And the Democrats are going to ram it down our throat. Absolutely. Well, the, the people don't like that. No. And the people are saying, I'm tired of, of yelling at my TV, and I'm tired of mm -hmm. yelling at my radio. Mm -hmm. So now let's go get involved with a candidate like Kathy Lomer. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, door knock for her. Let's have a coffee party for her. And, oh, I don't live in, in uh, Woodbury? Well, fine. Then I'm going to go somewhere else and, and do the same sort of You're seeing it all across the yeah. whole state. It's wonderful. And speaking of that, I did go to Washington, D.C. a couple weeks ago when there was a rally out on the Capitol lawn and uh, participated in that. And I also had the opportunity to go visiting all the Minnesota uh, representatives. And we got to look into the whites of their eyes and tell them, because they're not listening to no. your phone calls. They're not listening to your emails. They're not paying any attention. So we got to face to face tell them, we do not want this government takeover of health care. And I'm happy to report that our Republican representatives are all for that. They don't want it either. The Democrats are not for that. And I spoke with Tim Waltz, and we had a lengthy conversation about why we didn't want it. And I asked him, I picked up this Constitution, which happened to be sitting right there, and I said, can you tell me where in this Constitution that it says that you can demand anyone buy anything? Tell me. 
And you know what he said? I served 14 years in the military, I earned the right to interpret the Constitution the way I want to. So that's the way they think. All right. Clearly, Thank we you. have to get rid of Tim Waltz down in Congressional District 1 as well. Right. Uh, there's, right. Uh, we need a lot of change. Yeah, a do. lot of change. We do. But, Definitely. you know, I was willing to go out there because I, I am willing to represent the people of my district. I don't care what it takes. I've been working really hard. I'll, if I have to go to Washington and let them know, I'll do that. Excellent. It's so important. So when you're out talking to your the constituents in 56 in the uh, Woodbury Stillwater area and, mm -hmm. and all the rest of those towns, I don't want right. to slight any of them, <laughs> right. um, you're hearing a lot of talk about jobs. You're mm -hmm. hearing a lot of talk about the economy. Mm -hmm. What other issues are you hearing are concerning them? Yeah, people are concerned about education, I would say, as well. They're, um, they want the best for their kids, and I don't think they feel like they're getting their money's worth, mm -hmm. you might say, um, education. And they're, they're concerned about more raising of taxes to pay for education without any real results. And it was interesting, I heard that um, there is a Democrat in our area who tried three times to introduce legislation against charter schools. And we absolutely have a wonderful charter school in my district, St. Croix Prep. And oh, a great charter it's school. It's a great, great charter school. So it's interesting to me that we have representative government in our, seeing something that works really well, people are, people are really happy with. The students love it there. The teachers love it there. The parents love it there. They're educating the kids for a much less money than mm -hmm, the regular. Mm -hmm. And we have representation that doesn't like that and doesn't appreciate that. So I think people in my district want choice in education. They want to be able to homeschool if they want. They want charter schools. They want good private schools. And they want their public schools to do better as well. So I think that's another thing that's very important. Well, you're people. seeing the uh, city of St. Paul and the city of Minneapolis are losing students right and left. Yeah. They're going, whether it's going to a charter school, going to a home school, or simply moving out of the district because mm -hmm. they've realized mm -hmm. school districts, uh, what did we, we were talking before the show, St. Paul, $17,000 a mm -hmm. student, mm -hmm. Minneapolis, $19,000, yeah. right. and right. in Minneapolis you have a 50% uh, achievement gap. Right. That is absolutely unbelievable, and right. we in Minnesota, we deserve so much better. We absolutely do. We absolutely do. Right. So. I, someone's going to have to tackle that teacher's union. Right, right. We do have a lot of excellent teachers in the state of Minnesota. I'm not attacking uh, the the teachers by any means because I know my kids who went through the public school system. Mm -hmm. uh, we know we had a lot of good teachers. Yes. But on the other hand, it's right. uh, the teachers' unions out of control. Right, right. It is that. It isn't the teachers that are at fault here. Mm -hmm. It's the union. And we deserve better. Absolutely. I mean, think about it. The education budget's fifty percent of the state budget. Oh. 50% of the state budget, explain to me how, uh, and, and you can't because nobody can, right. how um, a, a state like Minnesota, as compared to Wisconsin, we have more representatives for our whole entire state. We spend more money mm -hmm. than the city of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and we have less people. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. And just speaking about how much money we spend, $37 billion is our budget in Minnesota, and we can't seem, to, it's never enough. It's we just can't feed this beast enough with that. Exactly. <laughs> it just doesn't the, make sense the to me. part that I'd, I always try to impress on upon people, uh, we spend $37 billion, and that's only the general fund. Right. That's only the general fund. When you add everything else, it's almost, almost up to $70 billion. That's a lot of money. That's my Not the trillions yet that our federal government spends, but billions of dollars. And the state of Minnesota takes in $31 billion. You can't take in $31 billion and spend $37 billion for right. very long. Right, absolutely. So we've got a lot of work to do, that's for sure. Oh, so much work. Mm -hmm. And let's throw your website out there again. It's kathylomer.com. So www.kathylomer.com. Real easy to get to. And so. you have a blog at the bottom, which I think I is do. absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you can see some of the things that are happening over at the state capitol. Yes. And then do you weigh in on what you think about these issues?